Today was absolutely crazy. I'll start with, got my first watch. This is a watch for like French divers is where it started. Um, my buddy Travis gave it to me as a gift. He said, all men have a watch, buddy. And so he gifted me this and it's by far the most expensive gift and the really the most surprising and the, definitely the best gift I've ever gotten. So my sincerest thank you to one of my best buddies, Trav. Uh, we took Ken's plane up to Vegas. That's where I am now. Give you guys a little room tour. This is why it pays to have friends who are pretty cool. My buddy, he has like unlimited points to every hotel. And so I called him last second. He said, this is the only room available. It's pretty sweet. So we're, we're in Vegas, baby. I'm, it's only 8 o'clock. I am so tired. So it's it's pretty nice. I also got swindled into buying some Gucci shoes today from George. I mean, it, 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 today was so much fun. I'm just exceptionally tired. I didn't sleep much last night. Which I won't go by. So I mean, the packaging is pretty cool. I'm like a... 15 year old girl on Snapchat on Christmas where they just show off everything that they have. And I, I don't have that anymore. That sounded very creepy. Uh, I think about it. I just remember when I was a kid, this is what every girl would do. But I got some slick shoes because tomorrow night we have a very expensive party. So, or just high end, like a little fancy thing. So I spent like just, I didn't even know shoes were this expensive, but. Spent a lot of money. And then George, he doesn't live in the United States. He's the first guy I ever started working for. Because he doesn't live in the United States, his card got declined for his shoes. So I ended up spending a lot of money today. But he'll pay me back for those. Or his dope pair. Of, he got two pairs. He got a pair at Louis Vuitton and Gucci. Um... So today was a, a pretty, it was one of the most fun days I've had in a long time. We were, crazy stuff was going on. We flew into Vegas around 8 a.m. We took Ken's plane and it was so nice going through the airport when there's no airport. You just go up, you have a little private terminal, you can get whatever you want there. You just hop on the plane and you go. You don't wait for it, they wait for you. It's really nice. But we flew and just bought a new uh, 365 or 68 unit spot in the great part of Vegas for $92 million. And two years ago, that place was appraised at uh, um, at $142 million. So they got it $50 million off the peak. And so the market has crashed. And uh, the large multifamily that Ken's working in. It's down significantly from the peak, and he's buying a ton of assets right now for great deals. Our cash flowing like crazy. Uh, he's doing a lot of cool things right now, and so this might, if I guess, if someone's a new viewer, I make a video every day. I'm like over a year into it, but my plan was to do a thousand days. And so this might sound all like super crazy stuff. I help really large businesses kind of grow their online brands. And that has allowed me to live a really exceptionally cool life. It's truly, truly spectacular and amazing to point that I, I, I can't even comprehend. I mean, I, I had to leave early tonight because I can't even keep my eyes open right now because I'm so tired because I haven't been sleeping much, which is all my fault because I've decided to been mischievous, mischievous in Scottsdale. And... So I'm just going to try and catch up on my sleep tonight. They At this hotel that we're staying at, they do have a cold tub, uh, sauna, steam room, hot tub, like kind of like all the amenities they have at Lifetime. So I think I'm going to wake up early and just do all that stuff and kind of biohack all morning, skip out on breakfast so I can be sharp throughout the day, especially tomorrow evening. Um, Saturday night, we're going to the Eagles concert at the Sphere, which is our old rock band. Apparently, it's their last ever show. And it was pretty awesome.
But, I mean, I'm, I'm just, every time I look at this, I'm just so thankful. <laughs> so thankful. So I don't, the thing is, I don't know what to, to do for my buddy Travis. So this is a Tudor Pelagos. He sent me the link and looked it up, and it's an expensive watch. It's really expensive. Uh, it glows in the dark because it's for divers. And so when divers are going 100 feet under, they want to check the time. This thing kind of illuminates light. You know what? I'll, I'll actually check it out because I think it's pretty damn cool. And if no one else cares, don't watch. Let's see. Uh, I don't think it will do it. I, I don't actually. This could be something that every watch does. And I just, I have never bought an expensive watch before. This is my first one. Let's see. I think I still have a light on it. Fuck. I fail. Anyway. Maybe every watch does that, and I'm tripping balls. Um, anyway. I'm just, I just want to go to bed so I can wake up and get a bunch of tomorrow's. So the, the, I guess the reason why we're here in Vegas is for a mastermind where people pay uh, a lot of money, uh, a lot of money to come to. And I've become, I mean, that's how I met Travis. He joined the mastermind. We became exceptionally good friends, and he just gifted me my first watch today. Um, let's see. I'm looking at my notes right now because I honestly forget what happened today. I actually, this is, I don't know how, this is actually what I was going to make the video on, and I completely forgot. I didn't think I was staying today because Ken's plane was flying back to Arizona. And on the flight, I was talking to Travis and Ken, and I brought nothing. I brought this shirt, these jeans, and one pair of shoes. And I actually did bring some extra underwear and socks just in case this happened, but not enough. I brought like one extra pair. I, I, don't, I don't know why I would think, well, if I stay, I'm only going to need one extra pair of everything when I should have just brought enough for the weekend. So I didn't bring anything. And on the plane, I was like, wow, uh, how are you getting home Sunday, Ken? He said, well, I'm going to, I'm just going to rent a plane. We're going to go back. Or he said, he's going to have his, um, pilot fly back up and pick them up on Sunday. And I, and George is going back to Phoenix. And I said, well, do you think you have enough room for George? I was just trying to get George a, a nice ride home. I said, oh yeah, absolutely. I said, well, in that case, why don't I just come with you guys and stay for the weekend? Um, because if we were just having such a good conversation on the plane. And so I said, fuck, I'm just, I'm going to, I'm just going to stay in Vegas for the weekend. Probably. And just not go home today. And so then I call up my buddy Justin, who is the number one hotel and airline arbitrager in the world, and said, here's the hotel I'm staying at. Please do your magic and just tell me how much I owe you. And he just said, you are now Mr. Lynn. Or uh, <laughs> um, he told me a lot of things that I had to say, which I don't know if he wants me to go over the details of how he finesses all these things. So I'm not going to do so, but got a good deal on this real expensive hotel. Anyway, I guess it is time to go to bed now. And this is, th this is just living a dope life. This is what freedom is. And this is what I always say. I, it, it, you don't necessarily have to make a ton of money to live as if you did. If you have the connections and the network around you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I have a call tomorrow morning. I can't forget. Fuck. Oh, shit. Um, anyway, what I was saying was you don't have to live. Sorry, this is such an important call. And I'm not going to edit this video because I'm too tired. So I just have to write this reminder down because I will forget. It is 10 a.m. 10 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, thank, thank God, thank God. Okay, so you don't have to if if with the right network, you in your if you're young, you don't necessarily have to have the most amount of money. Uh, you can just provide a lot of value to these people and incorporate yourselves into their life, and um, that's what I've learned to do pretty damn well. I mean, just this mastermind that I'm at, it's a ridiculous amount of money to go to and I'm just here for free. And then I get a massive the cool hotel for not quite free, but a lot less than what I would have to pay. And then instead of buying a flight, I get to fly private because 
kind of as a plane. Um, and all this, it all works out in tangent because I provide these guys with a lot of value. Travis, the guy who just gifted me this thing, which is amazing. I, I can't even believe it. Um, I don't work with him at all. Uh, he's just a really, really good guy that I've become friends with. And I, I don't know. He's just a good guy. So anyway, I got to go because I'm tired. I'm just rambling. Please, please, I hope no one's still watching to the end of this video because it was utter garbage.